districts of Moroto, Nabilatuk, and Nakapiripirit are set to benefit from the newly funded nutrition project. The project is targeted at improvement of nutrition among the poorest and most marginalized, especially women, adolescent girls, and children in the districts of Moroto, Nabilatuk, and Nakapiripirit. The districts in question in Karamoja subregion face seasonal food shortages and continuous scarcities that contribute to acute malnutrition and high rates of stunting among adolescents. Children under five years, the elderly and pregnant mothers, are the most affected by malnutrition and stunted growth. It is against this backdrop that a five-year project of gender equitable nutrition in Tanzania and Uganda has been launched in Karamoja. I declare the gender project launched. <laughs> the project is funded by Global Affairs Canada and implemented by Action Against Hunger in Karamoja Women Umbrella Organization. Rita Kapanyoro is the country director at Action Against Hunger. Planning food security. And in this we will support sustainable climate smart agriculture. Karamoja has very harsh uh, climate conditions, as I mentioned earlier. But we, as Action Against Hunger and the partners, many of you who are in this room, want to prove that it is possible to eliminate hunger. Action Against Hunger is going to work with community leaders to address norms and practices that cause malnutrition in homes. Start with the nutritional needs of a, at household level. So if this woman is not equipped with the knowledge and the skills they need, then the entire household suffers. Secondly, we will be promoting gender equality. We intend to... The principal nutritionist at the Minister of Health, Grace Cheng, who represented the State Minister for Primary Health Care, launched the 100 billion project at an event in Moroto District. We recognize that women play a pivotal role in the well-being of our families and communities. Empowering women is not just a moral imperative. It is an investment in the future. She urged development partners to work with district health officials at the facilities and warned against mismanagement of the project. She says government plans to streamline ready-packed food to solve the problem of malnutrition among children. I realize that there are so many partners bringing in the ready-to-use therapeutic foods and we are moving in a very uncoordinated manner. So in order for us to avoid the uncoordinated troop movement, at the ministry, we are trying to streamline this. Mariana Wari and Maureen Yiga for UBC.